Girls Box full of an entirely brand new holiday festive line. I don't know if it's actually called their holiday line of hooks. It's their tinsel hooks, which to me, that's pretty like festive-ish. But on the scale of zero to freaking excited, I'm all the way up there right now. All right, paper, what do we have? Oh yes, there was a free gift too. So I'm not sure how long it goes, but they were putting free, what are they, wooden needle cases? So like to hold your darning needles. Yeah, handmade wooden needle case the large maple antique. Anytime you placed an order on pearls or literally anything, they put one of those in there for free. So you had to go to like the next page, you like ordered it, and then it went to the next page and was like offered just for you, scroll to the bottom, and it said free, add it to your cart. That's all you had to do. There we go. Okay, this one is like hook plus, which one did I get? Maple? Large maple. I don't have this one yet either. So there is a large and there's a small, and on the bottom it has the furl stamp. I love both of them. This one I like for around the house or like wherever I'm chilling at. If I'm gonna sit for a while, I like it because it stands up on its own. The smaller one is just like, it doesn't have the flat bottom, so it's really good to travel with. I always carry darning needles with me, even if I'm doing a project that I don't think that I'm gonna need it with. 10 out of 10 times, yes, I am going to need one. So I just bring them with in case. Oh my gosh, I love this. So <laughs> that was a fun noise. This just pops off like here. I'll grab some darning needles to show in here, but like you can fit pretty decent size darning needles in it. I mean, obviously it's a large needle holder. I use darning needles and then I do like the actual like sewing needles too. Sometimes I carry those with for specific projects. Like if it's a really, really thin yarn, I might like to use that or if I'm doing like button work or something like that. Either way, it all fits in here. I actually really enjoy this one. I'm gonna grab my carousel one here first. I do not know where the other one is, but I found the small one. So this is the carousel one and it actually has a ton of needles in it yeah so we have like the small and this is the large and then I don't think I have the teak then I think that's the only one I don't maple carousel and then the teak someday I'll have to get that one notions in my opinion you can never have enough notions so the streamline swirls crochet hooks they run from a four millimeter all the way up to a 10 millimeter. I was really hoping that since the last one that came out, which was the Sagittarius in the Zodiac line, they had a 12 millimeter and a 15 millimeter hook. I was seriously hoping that we were gonna see more of that. But alas, we did not, which is totally fine because if I'm gonna be super honest, I don't use those size of crochet hooks that often, but I did love that they added it onto it. Let's see, ooh, we have new boxing, which I was kind of wondering because one of the limited edition maple and black swirl hook had this design on it. As much as I loved the last packaging because black and white is just classic and I love it, it's super timeless. I totally enjoy the change up. We have on here, if you lay these together, you kind of like play around with it. There's like a design on the side and I wonder if I like set the entire line out, if like it continues the design because there's different parts on either side of this. There still is not the sizing on like some of the previous packaging, it would say like four to 10 millimeter and then check off what was inside this. Still don't have that. It does have their hashtag on here, which is hashtag I love my furls. If you take a picture of your furls, don't forget to use this hashtag. It's seriously so fun because you can click on the hashtag and then see other humans that have used that. It's really neat to see how other people set their hooks up, store their hooks, what project they're working with. Some people are like me and love to coordinate their hook with their project or like the hook with the yarn. And it's just really interesting. So don't forget about that. On the side it says, oh, I like this. It says weight open other end. I 100% appreciate that because one side is gonna have the tip of the hook and the other side is gonna be the base of it. And it is super annoying when I would open up the wrong end. These smaller ones do have like little protection pieces of cardboard around it. So if you open the wrong end, you pull it out and then it would like bend that cardboard. So if you're wanting to save this, it was kind of annoying. And the inside says, let's do this. Oh, this is a big one. I love it. 
my gosh, this is so, it's very like holographic. I knew like going into it, it's like tinsel. Of course it's gonna be shiny reflective very much like they had a birthday one which had a ton of glitter in it and it did very similar things to it but we have not seen this yet total clear streamline this is only a nine millimeter oh my gosh i thought this was like the 10 for sure i feel like it's gonna be so fun working with it because it's gonna catch the light or i know like right now there's no sun today no sun to be had for me. But when the sun does come back out, it is gonna be super fun to just see it kind of like play around in the light. I appreciate it that it's clear too. And it just lets the tinsel kind of do its thing. Storing these, I need to think about that because you can't put these away. Like they're just way too fun, way too pretty to put away. So nine and eight. Oh, I did a pretty good job there. Let's open the rest of them. Whenever they do a special edition or a limited edition, they go really, really quickly. The sizes that are not available anymore are an eight millimeter and 10 millimeter, which is kind of bizarre to me because normally the ones that sell out right away are like five, 5.5, 5, four and 4.5, like the smaller size hooks definitely sell out. Maybe everybody's just in the mood to make big chunky cardigans, blankets, things like that right now. I mean, it is very cold, so it checks out that way. Special edition silver streamlined tinsel embodies celebration, holiday spirit, and all things shiny and new. Tinsel has a clear resin base with silver tinsel pieces suspended throughout. I really, really enjoy that aspect of it. That's exactly how I would describe this hook, a celebration hook. The special edition hook is available in limited quantities and may not be restocked. That was the next thing that I was gonna say. Even though it doesn't say limited edition, since it is a special edition, I would be very wary if there would be any restocks. But I'm not gonna say that they will never restock it because last year's holiday edition was the Corella Streamline Wood and we just recently got a restock of that and it was pre-order. So you could order the sizes that you want and you didn't have to worry about like being there right at that time. Just get the sizes that you wanna need. For the tinsel ones, if there is a particular size, I would totally not wait on these. Dimensions again, each streamline resin is seven inches in length and the diameter is 17 millimeters at the widest point. So right there, it has the classic furl shape of the crochet hook, which allows me personally to crochet as long as I want to without any sort of pain. And that's why I found furls in the first place. Okay, this thing right here, I seriously hope that they put this out. Like this is a real thing and it's not just a part of the picture. This little notion holder or like hook holder, I've seen it in multiple pictures of lines that they've released recently. And I'm just like, how nice would that be? Because not only would it be super convenient, because obviously it's designed to hold your hooks so as you're using them with your work in progress, you can set them there so they won't like roll around and roll off the table. But also, it just looks very aesthetically pleasing too. So I'm like, one of these in each of the spots of my house, like obviously a couple in the yarn dungeon, one by either side of the couch, and then kind of just switch up the hooks that you're using. It'd be a great way to display them too. This one, I think I'm gonna switch out my wooden hook holder. I desperately need to clean this area, but today is not the day. Let's just see if I love it. I have so many random ones. So we have the coffee one, the cookies and cream, the, <laughs> the pumpkin spice one, and my go-to Odyssey that I use literally every single day. Look what it looks like in here though. Okay, do we love that? Because I'm kind of obsessed with that. I think that's the winner. All right, let's try it with this. And then maybe, ooh, I'll put like the Black Odysseys in the middle because I still need those out. I'm using those like a day on different projects. Okay, middle. Oh, I do have enough. Oh, I don't have enough room. Never mind. Back and forth. 
that was a rush. I like this hook holder too because there's a little spot right here for notions for like stitch markers and then there you can stick darning needles in. When I'm really in crunch mode and I'm using a lot of different hooks for projects like right this second, gift giving season, you know, I use this quite often. Okay, I love that. I had no idea how I was going to display them, but I love this. The black odyssey with the tinsel streamline they were just designed to go together i've used this line of hook for quite a while and so i've used many different type of yarn with it wool acrylic cotton bamboo they all work very well it just slides right over it the ride is very smooth it glides i will say cotton acrylic and wool are the type of yarn that I tend to reach for this hook more often than others. But again, that's not to say that it doesn't work with those. Those are just my favorite to pair up with it. So those are my thoughts on this brand new tinsel line from Furls. Personally, I've already fallen in love with this entire line, the Streamline Resin just in and of itself. I love it for so many different projects and I've used them consistently. Honestly, just have the best results with them. So at this point, anytime they come out with a brand new design or a color, I'm already game. Like I know that I'm gonna love them. I know what I can expect from them. I have a high standard for these and every single time they have a new addition to this line, it always hold up. I already even have a couple of projects started. These three are missing. They're gone. They're just out of the yarn dungeon. They are already in the projects. The one that I just showed you with the red wander acrylic yarn, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's pomegranate. Don't quote me on that. That is actually an upcoming project, which is an upcoming crochet along. So bonus points if you know that stitch because that is a little sneak peek of what is to come here in the yarn dungeon. And if you figured it out, let me know down below. So obviously I need to know what you think. Do you love the tinsel hooks? Is it something that you want to add to your yarn dungeon? So that is it for me today, ghouls. Again, thank you for hanging out with me, checking out these brand new festive hooks. I hope you have a fantastically spooky rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.